little things there are few things I wish I knew before I got married I wish somebody could just tell me these things before I got married so that's why I'm bringing it over to you if you're planning on getting married or you're already married what's up my beautiful people it's your girl Stephanie Kalia and welcome back to my channel so if you are new to this channel please subscribe to my channel and if you're a returning subscriber welcome back yes I'm still here I'm your girl and I got you so yes jumping right to today's video today I'm going to be discussing seven things I wish I knew before I got married okay marriage is a beautiful thing right it comes with the excitement the jitters preparing for your wedding is a lot <clears throat> when you start preparing about the wedding you get overly excited about it but in the midst of all those excitement you're a little bit worried about the uncertainties balancing your new family how to deal with all and all you get worried about the future as well as the excitement so it's something that really got to me before i got married and and it was really getting into me and then but what encouraged me or what helped was because I found a bond in my relationship and it was something that yes I was willing to go in all for so that's why yes I picked up the balls and then we walked down the aisle with my husband but there are little things there are few things I wish I knew before I got married right I wish somebody could just tell me these things before I got married so that's why I'm bringing it over to you if you're planning on getting married or you're already married still these are some things you should know so I'm jumping right to it seven things I wish I knew before I got married number one not taking advice from other couples yeah it sounds awkward kind of but i know that there are couples you might admire or there are couples that you think um you love you like what you see you admire them when you see them it's not bad to actually look at couples like that to actually admire couples and want them it's not bad at all but no relationship is the same your relationship is not the same with the other person's relationship like your spouse is not the same with the other person's spouse what you take is not the same with what the other person can take so like you just have to figure out what it's good for you and your spouse and what you think it's okay for you you are the one in this relationship you are the one that knows everything you think you want in that relationship so believe me guys what works for one person will not work for you i remember when i was about to get married and um, everyone around me then was telling me i was too young to be married i, well, I was getting married early or i was but i felt like okay i wasn't early i was 26 when i got married right but you see guys i wasn't really young at that point but because those around me at that age were not yet married so they felt like okay i was rushing into it kind of but i felt like okay i was prepared for this and it's a step i want to take and i decided to take it what works for either your sister your brother your friend what works for them is in their marriage would not necessarily work for you in yours so please guys try as much as possible not to take advice from other couples the second thing I wish someone told me before I got married is the right person might not really share the same passion as you although it sounds kind of odd but I know that there's a saying that says okay you and your spouse have to think alike have to work alike and all that and all that but like you must not necessarily have the same passion for to be the right person for instance my husband is more like an indoor person he's a writer he doesn't really like noise and i'm the gang -gen kind of person i love like i love life the idea of his environment he loves this quiet environment and i'm the loud kind of person so it's we kind of seem contradictory contradictory but 
it still works the love works for us we just we don't necessarily share the same ideas but like we work together we sit down we talk and gradually you guys begin to like see um in the process you guys begin to like see things in the same light but from the onset guys you guys must not necessarily like probably a pastor saying i must get married to a pastor it's not that but a pastor could see his wife like her and with time she gets to grow into that person so that is the second thing i wish i knew before i got married the third thing that I wish I knew before I got married is sex is not the ultimate goal for marriage. Yeah, I know before getting married you think that okay, marriage is all about sex, but you get to find out that that in marriage it's it's not all about that. You there are sometimes you're not even interested or you could stay a while without even being interested in sex. You discover that there are other things that come up rather than sex, like being intentional about your emotions, being intentional about your marriage um, talking about your finances talking about your children how to build up a life and you find out that sex was in fact the least of it when it comes to marriage so I, this is the third thing I wish they told me before I got married the fourth thing I wish I knew before I got married is priority change so before marriage right your priority was okay just you your spouse and little little you just both of you because you deal with very tales like happy ever and then did exist all those and all those you think about you think that is what it is but when you when in the process you find out that your priority change you start you start thinking of okay having children plans for the children plans for future like housing as well as a call and um, before we stay having children there's a place we wanted to stay this warm cozy place but with now notice that having children it won't be a comfortable place for them to stay as well so we had to start adjusting all those plans to suit the children as well and then you discover that there's a saying that goes that an individual changes like four times in a lifetime when you're single you have an idea in your head when you get married and we tell people change so as your character changes or as you upgrade in character as so as your priority changes as well so that's the fourth thing I wish I knew before I got married the fifth thing is Argument is not a sign of dysfunctionality in your marriage. Um, if you look at the way things are right, in relationship with friends, parents, family, you have arguments. So I don't know why there's this delusional idea that um, argument in marriage is unhealthy. No, it's actually the same thing because you're rebuilding a relationship and in relationship they are born to be conflict and those little little conflicts are what brings about argument. So it's totally healthy, right? to have arguments or have conflicts in your marriage. But the issue is how you deal with those arguments and how you deal with those conflicts. Sometimes couples start having those conflicts and believe that um, their marriage is crashing down or things are turning upside down for their marriage and they think of a plan B. In that idea of thinking of a plan B, they stop communicating and then they stop serving. So that is where actually the issue comes. Because in that process of stopping to communicate, you, you guys actually start growing apart and that is what tears the family down. When you have arguments, there are healthy ways in which you can have arguments that you could just sort things out. like. I and my husband have decided that even in our worst of arguments, we don't say words like hate, I totally hate, or you don't say words that stick to your partner for a very long long time. You argue healthy arguments, like you just have conflict healthy. The way it is, right? conflicts can come up in the most little things that we do not expect so try as much as possible to understand each other and argue well so the sixth thing i wish someone told me before i got married is compromise is an extremely valuable asset we cannot overblow the issue of compromise right you have to compromise when it comes to 
your relationship i know it sounds absurd or it sounds difficult it's easier said than done because compromising is like the hardest thing to do but that is like a secret to a happy marriage um both of you like the husband and the wife you both need need like your needs to be met halfway so like i like the lights off when i sleep right but my husband likes to put on the light because he feels he feels safer with the light on but like we had to compromise right and we just on the bathroom lights in that way there's a little ray of light that reflects in the room so in that way we got that settled so guys my advice for you is just try and compromise a little bit don't be up and all tight about it that would help so i think i've been talking a lot let's take a break guys a breath of fresh air okay so the seventh and final thing i wish i knew before i got married is romantic relationship has two stages guys believe me or not it is totally true the relationship we have with your husband has two stages the first stage where you guys do things for each other without even complaining without even thinking about it the love is just there it just everything keeps flowing and it's just easy the easy flow right and the second stage is where you have to be intentional about your emotions you know life can be funny life can throw anything at you at any point in time so when you get more into life you realize that a lot of other things come in bombarding your head and and all that so you have to be intentional about your emotions if not you could face an aspect of your life forgetting another aspect of your life so that stage is where you have to be intentional about your emotions so guys we've come to the end of today's video and if you enjoyed this video please like share and subscribe to this channel and please press the bell icon to get notified when i upload my next video